Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here in the world of Pike and Shot Total War once again. It's the Pike and Shot mod for Shogun 2 Total War. And we have a glorious 2v2 here as we have the Habsburgs or Austria teaming up with Poland here. who are taking on the Kingdom of Sweden and already the Poles are going in hard here. Got some, uh, some cavalry rushing in trying to go after some of this uh, like uh, Hakebisir. Hark Cavalry that the uh, the Swedes have brought some German mercenaries, and you got the uh, the Wing Hussars here ready to go in, and they are uh, trying to win that cavalry sort of dominance early on. You can see the amount of cav on this side here for the Swiss. There's so much cavalry. We've got uh, lots of like cuirassiers back here waiting, um, like more heavier cav. But yeah, we've got hakebisiers and um, some of the like cav like lighter cav units here as well. Already lots of horses. We've got mercenary dragoons running, not in combat. Are they? What is going on? These are horses, riderless men, but it doesn't seem like they've lost that many. What is going on? They've lost seven men, but there's a lot more than that uh, horsemen dead there, it seems. But anyway, it seems as though we've got uh, like the bows being fired here, which is awesome to see. Like the the, eight, the different ages that are uh, like both sides have had to go through. Gunpowder and horsemen haven't quite mixed yet, totally evidently, as you can see here. Carry going in decent charge there by the poles. I actually look like they might route a couple of these. A cavalry regiment units here. Actually, yeah, look at this. Getting multiple units here. And they're going to probably get all four, I think. And what a win there for the Poles early on. We've seen these guys in their sort of like debut on the channel in the uh, most recent upload for Pike and Shot Total War where they took on the uh, the Turks. And that was an excellent battle. If you haven't checked that one out, I recommend you do so. But yeah, let's see how they can do today in, uh, in this one against Sweden, who's arguably one of the superpowers of the age at this point. Uh, they really are. You might be thinking, what are you on about? Poland, uh, Sweden, sorry, is a really, really strong faction. I mean, they are doing, this is an age-old uh, like alliance, the Poles and the Habsburgs. They were always allying up to take on the Swedes who are trying to expand their European dominions. Yeah, the uh, Poles, uh, I feel like, uh, well, they're winning. Combat even, maybe. Yeah, they're going to lose some of these fights. Look, you can see the wavering units here of Cavs. But they are going to take a lot of the uh, the Hakibis here down with them. And they still got some of the more elite uh, units back here, like the Hussars, which are still waiting in reserve. And they're probably going to go in against things like the Cuirassiers and the Cavalry Regiment. Here we go. In go more of those hybrids. I dare not pronounce the names before we but butcher them. And yeah, there you go. See the Hussars coming in now. Those room stars trying to do their bit. But yes, if you're enjoying all things Pike and Shot and would like to see some more of this mod on the channel, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new on here, and a couple to show your support. As always, guys, it's very much appreciated. And if you've got any replays of it, if you'd like, uh, if you haven't, uh, if you're like, if you've got, if you play it quite a lot, feel free to send the replays in. And I'll leave a link for the mod and also for the Discord if you want to get involved uh, in any battles yourself. And we've got a general in here, Hans at George uh, Boitzenberg. He's in there with his 40-man bodyguard. Hans, what are you doing in the front lines, man? What a fool. I mean, he's lost a man yet. I imagine the bodyguards are pretty strong. But it looks like they might actually rattle a lot of these Polish units here. And it looks like an ambush has taken place. We've got, yeah, you can see the uh, mercenary ratios here coming across. Looks like they're going to try to do some work on these Poles. The Hussars are still going in hard and doing a lot of work. These Winter Hussars are nasty. Our general is in grave danger, and a general's Lord. in grave danger? I presume that might be the Habsburg one, I think, because I think this is from the Habsburg point of view. The Habsburgs look like they're going to have a bit more of a conventional pike and shot battle uh, right now. The Them and the Swiss are trading quite nicely. But I think it's, yeah, I think it's the, uh, the Austrian general that's uh, being threatened. Though also hands at George. Uh, Boitzenberg is in there. I don't know if he's the general though. He's got like a different marker above his head, which suggests he isn't. Maybe it's like a command unit, but he's uh, he's won his fight anyway. So well done, Hans. You've won. Yeah, like the general there, like Stanislaw, he's got a different, uh, like a star above his unit. Instead of a bell. It seems like the, uh, the Swedes are going to win this. But if you haven't checked out the Pike and Shot mod, I really recommend you do if you've got, uh, if you like this era and you've got Shogun 2. There is so much potential for this mod. They're adding so many different factions. They can add a campaign. Um, it's quite often updated as well. Uh, they've got various patches 
uh, coming out constantly and also different updates fairly regularly as well. So it's a, a very active mod. It's got a great community already. But yeah, if you're interested in this sort of uh, like era, definitely check it out, the mod. And like I said, I'll leave a link uh, for both the mod and also the Discord. So you can go and chat some uh, devs there or people that play the game if you're looking for matches. It looks like Sweden's going to be shifting forward some musketeers here with pikes behind support him. Looks like they've already lost some guns as well. I think they might be arty. Uh, been a bit of an arty duel there, and uh, looks like the Austrians won that fight. But yeah, these arts already, the closer they get, the more likely it is Canis to start taking over. That's a 12 pounder here as well. So we've got, yeah, four pounders. But look at this, like a line of musketeers then behind the pikes. It does look glorious. I mean, the uniforms, everything look amazing. Um, like, yeah, the models um, are very, very cool. Yeah, these are... Uh, they don't look the most heavily armoured pikes. They'll do some decent damage, that's for sure. What else we got back here? We've got more, like, German uh, mercenary Haki Vassiers. I wonder if they need to shift some of those over to help the cat fight over here. Because though the poles look like they might win, their units are looking very ragged. We've got, still got some uh, Kirasio Regiment here. Very healthy unit. Horn Kirasio Regiment. I wonder if these are uh, ones shifted over from the other uh, Swedish army. Infantry now being shifted in this direction as well. Still got some more cuirassiers here. Adurkas, cuirassiers. They, if I remember, are like all in black uniform as well. Look at them. They look like they're just knights with just given a pistol and a, and a sword and told to go into battle. Very much like a clash of ages still. Yeah, Sweden really turning this flank here. You can see cavalry regiment. Look like they're going to go in. Mercy rate is on both sides here. I would have thought the pikes could support any sort of cab fight going on here in the, in the rear. And also, they have more cows. The Habsburgs. It's a bit of a risk. Well, actually, I say that. There's more now shifting the Swedes around the side. I still think the Habsburgs outnumber them. And they've dismounted this Jaeger cab unit. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's here. Cracks uh, Jaegers. Oh, I did not realize you could do that. It's very cool. I guess that's the bonus of Jaeger cab. But it looks like Sweden's going to rush in here. He is moving up. He is not slowing down. They're getting close to that, towards that state line. The Austrians, they need to keep on firing. Fire when ready! But it looks like this Swedish army over here. I mean, I don't know if this is the full thing that's left. But it looks very battered and bruised. Poland is uh, still in pretty good nick. A lot of its cav is, uh, well, we wouldn't say fresh. It's a bit battered and bruised, but, you know, it's got a good cav core here. And a lot of those hussars are still alive, which is the concerning thing for Sweden. Looks like also Poland has its own um, sort of like dragoons. Yeah, managed dragoons here. They're dismounted. I think they might be uh, over here. Like these units that dismount 120 man units. Looks like they're going to use them as skirmishes. It's kind of an interesting uh, bit of knowledge to know about the tactics. And here we go, melee is starting to get underway. We have some pike on pike action. And yeah, the Swedes look a lot more armored, you could say, than the uh, than the Austrians. And I think they are winning that fight because of that. Yeah, we'll combat even, but I'd say that looking at the numbers, well, actually, this, yeah, the Swedes have lost two. That's why. Wow, yeah. They're inflicting heavy losses. Actually, onto the Austrians and cabs charging in into pike lines. I'd have thought that the pikes would eat up the cavalry here, but we'll see. Hard to tell. Combat even it says losing decisively after the pikes have started to have some advantage in that. And now the artillery here as well is firing point blank range. Don't know if they're going to get another volley off. No, I don't think they are. And they're poking their way to victory of those pikes. Going to route that a four pounder the hard way. Looks like they're going to do the same on this side here. Where this artillery will fire? Let's see. See if it will fire. Uh, no, it looks like the crew is getting poked if they get too close to that front. Yeah, Musketeers here getting silenced. I mean, Musketeers once get into melee, they route pretty quickly. You can see that 163 out of 80. 180. And they're already wavering. Cav shifting forward here. Some Curacia units. Looks like they're going to go in. And Cav fighting in the back lines here as well. Austria and Sweden duking it out for Cav superiority. I would imagine... The Swiss will lose. Uh, sorry, the Swedes will lose this one. If I've been calling the Swedes the Swiss, I do apologize. 
they just begin, you know, SW. It's just so similar. But yeah, it looks like the Austrians are going to win this one. Gracia is here, getting around the back of the Radios, and they should win that fight. The Swedes are losing, yeah, their uh, Harkabissiers getting routed. Pikes here are getting shot at point blank range to try and help the uh, situation. Not, not much they can do, they can just stand there and look pretty. They're going to fall back. Millet Jaeger, they're getting routed there. Some of the uh, musketeers, musketeers are going into melee and actually winning their fight. Looks like the Commonwealth's kind of retreated a little bit and is shifting troops over to support. And looks like we're going to see uh, yeah, some of these Valachian cab units route off some uh, artillery here and just get rid of those. Looks like Sweden is getting routed on a lot of fronts here, actually. Yeah, all these troops are routing. Wow. Uh, I don't know if they're not, why they're not breaking, but yeah, they're just kind of stood here getting shot in the face, but fair enough. Yeah, the Swedes are forming squared. Don't know really if there's any purpose. It's not really, not really any cavalry. Oh, I guess it's this uh, this cavalry here. Yeah, some cuirassiers have got in. Yeah, they're busy elsewhere. The pikes need not need not worry. The cuirassiers are busy elsewhere. Yeah, the pikemen here. I mean, the combat even they're getting shot in the face again by uh, musketeers. It seems. Yeah, the Swedes, it just seems in a pike fight, they, they're winning this. Hand over fist. I mean, it says combat even, but the losses would say otherwise. And Sweden seems like he's rolling up this, this corner over here. So, I mean, the Austrians have got to hold on because the cab has survived and is actually victorious, I think. Looks like uh, yeah, there's not much in the way of Swedish cab left. Gustav Horn is here. Or maybe it is their generals. I can't see any other generals so maybe that's just the mark of the enemy generals it looks like uh, yeah Kiras is duking out in the middle here Pike still fighting on got a cavalry over here for the Swedes. This is the only cab they have left, I think. Oh, and they're getting shot up by archers. Clash of ages, like I said. I guess this, uh, this cab back here just safely shooting from reserve. I think it's... Maybe... Yeah, those ones are bows the there. And so do these ones, actually. So, yeah. They're just shooting the, uh, the Swedes as they run. I do like how the uh, Japanese voices are still being used. Someone was making a comment about that when the Turks were fighting. Like, Turks are Japanese voices? How strange. And the pikes poking their way through. They're still fighting on. It does look a bit of a forest of twigs going on down there. And the, the two sides engage. I will admit that. Who's on the front lines here? Oh, we've got Wallenstein, a very famous uh, pike shot general. He's holding on. Got the musketeers over here fighting still. Yeah, the Swedes. Actually, I don't know. The Swedes look like they kind of cleared up this area, this corner, but. I'm kind of changing my mind now that the Austrians might be able to uh, stabilize cavalry, and it looks like various like Jaeger units have been sent to the side to try and um, try and sort out the situation. The Swedes are also being surrounded here, um, and it does look like they are going to lose that fight because they're being surrounded by pikes. There's so many Musketeer regiments still alive. They're bombarding these cuirassiers as they run on by. It looks like uh, yeah, the Swedes over here kind of being ignored, but remi remains of them anyway. Yeah, here you go. Lots of healthy units here routing through the Swedes. I wonder if they had lost their general. I haven't seen Hans in a little while. He might have fallen in that cab fight. Hans! Where are you? I think Hans might have fallen. I think also the other general is... But Gustav is just about still alive. But now...
Pikes are starting to die. Italian commander staff, I guess, here to try and rally the boys. It is Grona Pikeman. Are you losing decisive? They're not giving in, that's for sure. Yeah, they're nearly through the uh, the Swedes. They nearly got through. You can see like the the line that's left. They didn't have much of to break through. And they're losing decisively these Camargo uh, Pike Pike infantry there. It doesn't matter though. Looks like the Swedes are gonna give way first. Some of the Swedish cav here, some of the uh, Kyrassi are still holding on, managing to uh, deal with Harkibis years. Just about. And are we gonna see uh, Wallenstein get killed off here? He's, he's kind of pushed on, and I think the Swedes have seen an opportunity to take him out. I think these guys in the funky uniforms on here are Volenstein's bodyguard. They've got very look, strange looking faces. What is going on actually with their helms? Oh my gosh. I don't know if I want to keep looking at that. It looks very spunky. Very strange. Oh, Gustav Horn's in here as well. It's the Battle of Generals taking place. And it looks like Volenstein's going to lose out. Our men are running from I feel like the battle Poland field. needs to get more into the action. They are holding a lot of troops up here, over here, dealing with a very small amount of, uh, of reserves. I feel like they should just rush the guns. I mean, they, they're almost surrounded the Swedes here. They, they could rush them. I mean, I feel like Austria also is in a relatively stable position. These uh, gunners over here have got a nice firing line, and they've got some reserves here that can come up, some pikes, some musketeers. But yeah, they could, they could do with uh, a little bit of support, I think, because Sweden is chewing up this right flank. Again, I thought that thought maybe Austria would stabilize the side, but maybe not. Sweden seems to have turned it around with an arrival, a late arrival from Gracias. They're wavering. They're wavering. A sapper coming to go up. A perfect unit to try and take that gun position. What do they look like? Well, nothing like the sappers I know and love from uh, NTW3, that's for sure. They're just some boys with some swords. And I feel like there's nothing le less than appropriate to send into battle. Some angry men with swords. Are they actually going to fire? They look like they're going to try it. Fire before those angry men with swords arrive. Oh, they're firing arrows. I feel like that might be the poles. Friendly fire. There you go. Sappers? Actually, a wavering. Oh, that'll be why. That'll be why they're wavering. And they're going to break. There you go, Matt. <laughs> they were outed pretty quickly. I wonder if they're getting shot by their own troops. Didn't help the situation. Sanderslaw's in here. He's trying to charge in. He's going to try and route these, uh, these musketeers. He might do it as well. Yeah, maybe not. They actually rallied of all things. The four pounder is wavering again. Pikes fight on, and they're, take, they're taking out Swedish musketeers now. which will be, be yours and I would agree with that statement I feel like Sweden is slowly getting worn down it looks like they might have taken out the Austrian general Wallenstein I think it's not going to make much of a difference I think they have enough to the Austrians to win their fight Gustav Horn is still alive and kicking Hans is long gone but yeah the Poles have just dealt with what remains here of the Swedes as you can see and now they can shift over their attention what remains of the uh, Swedes on this flank? Yes, superpower has been stopped. Poland and Austria together have helped deal with them. I mean, you could argue the Habsburgs as well are superpower at this point. They do own a large amount of Europe. But the Swedes are definitely, I think, feel like going to be one of the major players when it comes to uh, this mod, that's for sure. 
They're one of the uh, were one of the first factions to be uh, created because they're well, they are kind of the the one of the main players when it comes to Thirty Years War. It looks like still the Swedes seem to have like cavalry just appearing from nowhere. Ca Curacio regiment here fighting. Oh, what are they fighting? Italian staff and a tiny Curacia unit as well. The Poles just send in their cab and finish the job at this point. There's more like Curacias here. It's just This is the problem when it comes to uh, the pike and shots. The only problem I have, which is not the end of the world, it's a bit like NCW3. It's units just return, so the battle like is kind of over, but units return and um, prolong the battle just a little bit because really these, these Swedes are not gonna, not gonna win. They're just rallying and then returning. As you can see here, it looks like uh, the Camargo Pikes are uh, storming on in. And these Kyrassians are going to try one last hurrah to try and win the day for Sweden, but I think it's more than over. Oh, it's not really the Kyrassians, they're Gustav's bodyguard. Wing Kassars coming in to claim the victory at the very end. Slicing and dicing those pikemen. There you go. I think that's a mass route now for Sweden. And that should be GG. And there you go. A glorious victory for the Habsburgs and the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Well done to both all the players as part in this one. It certainly was a fun one, and it's good to see Poland on the victorious side today. And we saw an interesting combination, a very historical uh, sort of battle, because those sides did fight against each other uh, many times in the Thirty Years' War. So that was very fun to see. Uh, I did enjoy that battle. I hope you guys did as well. Get a nice little bit of artwork now before we see the battle end results. But uh, yeah, it certainly was a fun one. Like I said, if you guys do enjoy Pike and Shot Total War and want to see more of it, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support. It really does help out the channel. Um, but yeah, this was sent in, um, I believe, from the Austrian player's point of view. So I think that's Cassius. Um, so uh, well done to him and to Prompter who are playing as the um, like the Polish, Lithuanian, and Habsburg forces. Look at the size of these armies as well. They're massive. There's like nearly 10,000 troops on one side and about 8,000 on the other. Uh, well done to Zion and to uh, uh, Danilo as well, who was playing as um, the Swedish forces in today's battle. Um, Danilo is uh, one of the uh, devs for um, Pike and Shot. So yeah, there's a lot of great work. Uh, there's that guy there. Uh, we'll quickly have a look at the unit stats. I um, mean, some huge kills. Hussars, as usual, always doing well for the Poles. 264 kills. Uh, and then we got 252 kills for a, uh, another Hussar. Um, and then we got 176 kills for some... I think those are some of the... Um, uh, like the hybrid cav, I think? No, to deploy there a Musketeer, that's for sure. 200. Um, yeah, more Hussars. 157. 107 with some of the Pikes. And we got down here. We got Horn Crassier Regiment. 135 kills for Zion. Uh, that was um, Cassius, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Um, then we got some more Curassiers. 119 kills. 118, uh, 108 with Adurka's Curassiers. Uh, yeah, all the Curassiers really for the Swedes doing really well. Get over 100 kills. One four pounds, getting 102. Then we have uh, Prompter playing as the Habsburgs. 502 kills with the Camargo Pike Infantry. Wow. 350, uh, 350 basically with this other Camargo. Wow. 254 with the uh, Mercenary Harkibessiers. Yeah, the Camargo is doing well, 178. Uh, more hockey this year is getting 176 and 168 kills. And then one of the cannons getting 155. Bornstein got 91 kills himself before he fell. Then we have uh, Danny, uh, Danny Lowe playing as un, um, the other Swedish army. 279 kills one of his pikes. 250 with another. Uh, 219 to 166 with a musketeer. Some more musketeers getting 159 kills. But yeah, some pretty solid kills there if you want to have a look at the rest of those. But there you go, guys. That is today's battle. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.